Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about long multiplication. So, in the last classes we were working with multiplication, some strategies, and the idea is that we have to challenge our knowledge with multiplication. In the first step, we have to work with the place value. In the place value, remember that we have units, tens, and hundreds. We will multiply 24 times 12. So, with the colors, the idea is to identify which numbers we are multiplying. In the first step, we have to multiply the number 2. The number 2 is a unit, and we have to multiply by 4 and by 2 but we have to identify when we mix those colors yellow and blue which color do we we'll get very good green now with that information we will multiply 2 times 4 very good 2 times 4 is equals to 8 now the next we have to multiply the same 2 that is yellow with the 2 that is blue 2 times 2 that is equals to what very good, that is equals to 4. Now we finish to multiply the units. We finish to multiply the number 2 that is yellow. Now we have to continue with the number 1 that is a 10. The number 1 is red. So red with blue, we get purple. So in this case, we have to cover this space, the space that is below of the 8, because now we are multiplying by 10s. When we are multiplying by tens, we have to cover the space of the units. What that means? That we have to multiply 1 times 4 is equal to 4. The number 4, we have to move 1 space and locate in this case. Now, 1 times 2, that is equal to? Very good, 2. We finish to multiply the units and the tens. Now, we have to add the products. In this case, 48 and 24, according with the position that I explained you. That is 8 plus nothing, that is equal to 8. 4 plus 4, that is equal to 8. Very good. And 2, we don't have more numbers to add, so that is equal to 2. Then, when we organize the factors, that said that 24 times 12, that is equal to... 288 very good did you understand this example perfect now we will challenge with the next example okay in the next example we will work with units tens hundreds and thousands that said that we have to multiply 46 times 23 again we have to start with the number three and we have to mix the colors again we know that we will get green so 3 times 6 that is equals to 18 but be careful in this specific example because we can locate two digits in the same position that is the unit the number 8 just must be there and the number 1 we have to move in another place so that is break apart Break apart the number and the number one is up, okay? Then we have to add that number one with the answer of the multiplication of three times four. So three times four, that is equals to 12. But remember that we have to add the one. So 12 plus one is equals to what? Very good. That is equals to 13. Now, it's not necessary to show plus one because we won't work with this number again. So now, Let's continue with the multiplication of the red with blue, that is equals to purple, that is this number, number two. Two times six, the answer must be with the tens, because now we are multiplying with the number two, as I explained you in the last example, that that is a ten. So we have to locate in the next space. Two times six, that is equals to twelve, very good. Again, move up the number 1 because that is with the next position. Now, 2 times 4, that is equals to 8. Very good. 
8 plus 1. That is equal to 9. Very good. We finished to multiply any number by the all numbers. So now we have to add the products that we get. So that is 8. 3 plus 2. Very good. That is 5. 1 plus 9. Great. Is 10. Remember, one digit for one position. One in the thousands, zero in the hundreds, five in the tens, and eight in the units. 46 times 23, that is equal to 1058. Guys, I hope that you like this class and continue watching the videos. Bye bye. Okay, guys. Please like the video, write comments, and don't forget to subscribe and activate the ring for notifications. I wait for you in the next class. Bye bye.